Hello, everyone. Uh, undoubtedly, as many of you start writing, uh, start putting together your digital image stories um, that we've been working on in class, you will likely be going to places like Flickr to try to find Creative Commons licensed images, or you'll be taking them yourself, but likely be going to Flickr. That's just, just a real quick review on a couple of things you want to be sure that you do inside of Flickr. Always make sure you use the advanced search feature. Um, so click on advanced search. A couple areas I'd like for you to pay attention to. Number one is the safe search. We always want to make sure the safe search is turned to on. Uh, it helps keep you away from the images you really don't want to be looking at in the first place. And uh, all the way down to the bottom is the checkbox for searching only Creative Commons licensed content. And just a reminder, always keep track of who the user is from where you got the picture because the part of the Creative Commons license is the attribution portion. And we do have to, at the very end of our presentation, at the very end of our slides, tell who and where we got the pictures from. So always keep track of that information. And then up across the top, let me go ahead and put in trees. So I'm searching with safe search on. I'm searching Creative Commons license. And all the images that I see here are of trees. Are, uh, I'm able to go. So let me just click on this one from Victor underscore Nuno. Just a random picture. I scroll down, and I can tell that this is a some rights reserved image, an attribution non-commercial license. So let me go ahead and click on all sizes of the picture. I can see, let's choose the medium version of medium size, and oh, lucky, there's all my Creative Commons information, and now let me download medium size. I'm going to go ahead and save that to my H drive. You'll save it to your H drive or your personal folder, and uh, go and click OK, and now it's ready to be able to be used.